Hello, this is Trevor Agar back at thepsycheguru.com. Today I'd like to talk about support groups. Who would benefit from support groups? What are support groups about? And how do you connect with the support group in the community? A couple years ago I had the opportunity to run a support group for about a year and it was a great experience. And I learned what kind of people really benefit from the support group and what kind of people uh, find it discouraging or find the experience unsatisfying or just are frustrated by the whole experience of going to a support group. There's, there seems to be support groups everywhere, which is great news for us. Support groups are usually set in a community setting, a hospital, a church, a school, um, community buildings. Um, you can usually locate different kinds of support groups for almost anything now. Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, emotions, anonymous is for anxiety, depression, depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, parents, uh, people with mental illness, um, anxiety, panic. There's support groups for people with agoraphobia that have a difficult time leaving the house. Uh, through the power of the internet and also uh, if you live in a metropolitan area, there tends to be support groups for everything. Different kinds of co-occurring uh, medical conditions like cancer and depression. Support groups are really good for getting general information and asking very simple questions or getting referrals from people for doctors or clinics. Support groups are not good for if you have a lot of anxiety, you're in a crisis, you're in distress, and you want to go someplace where you're going to get a lot of attention and feedback and support. Support groups are set up that sometimes there's a speaker that will be presenting information or people will get tiny amounts of um, time to share or provide support to each other. Like micro minutes, you know, maybe five minutes or four minutes. I often attended support groups or ran support groups where someone would come in with a lot of anxiety and they wanted the whole t they wanted the whole hour just for themselves and their family and I had to constantly redirect them and I would refer them to an individual therapist in the community or a doctor. So I really encourage people to, to check out different support groups out in the community. Um, a really good places to find the support group information is the internet, um, different community centers, uh, senior centers. Uh, a lot of um, cities have like a monthly um, activity uh, book. Like I live in the city of Irvine, California, and every month or every season, there's a, a big book that comes out with all the information for like all the community activities. Um, different large medical programs like UCLA, USC, St. Joseph's, uh, any medical programs, they, they tend to have support group center, a so support group coordinator, where families and patients um, can find out information about the different support groups out in the community. Give it a try. Um, if you're in crisis, remember that a support group is not a good place to, you know, to get immediate help. But if you're feeling a little frustrated or you need help or you really want to get some real, really, really good referrals from actual patients, um, support groups can be a good resource. Again, thank you for uh, visiting us at thepsychguru.com and have a great day.